you've been on my mind since the last episode. I'm sorry. Are we rolling, Jonathan? What's going on, guys? My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me I should be welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have episode 22 of our Demon Slayer watcher named Master of the Mansion. But guys, last episode, we pretty much wrapped up the end of that whole spider fight. I mean, I guess all of the spider fights. It was ordered for the Hashiras to bring Tanjiro and Nezuko back to headquarters. Where at the end, we met a lot more Hashiras. I'm assuming we will learn more about this episode, hopefully. We also saw with the retrieval of Inosuke and Zenitsu, who are now safe. Inosuke questioning his strength for the first time. And Zenitsu, who is just kind of glad that everything's over. Guys, we're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big blue bell so miss any future episodes. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. These guys just look crazy. I love all their designs, to be honest. On trial. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, at least one of them understands him. Also, also, where's like the the big boss? We saw a cut to him, I believe. Where he was sitting, and it looked like a place like this. I think he just told you. This all looks so cool. Ah, that's why they said they were bringing him. For having Nesco with them. I think they'll be okay. I mean, like I said, that one already kind of understands. That's just thing with emotions, though. I don't know if it'll pass through the rule book. But again, I don't know who the big boss of all the Demon Slayers are. I think we got a cut to him. We don't know anything about him. But, I mean, we know that Nesco's special. She's not just your average demon. She doesn't have that craving for humans. So, like, if they ever do take off her muzzle, it'll be like a big moment. Master of the mansion. <laughs> just right to it, huh? Yojuro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ren Goku? Uzui Tengen. Oh my gosh, these people are ruthless. Sound Hashira. Love Hashira. Kenroji. <laughs> He's crying. Stone. Imajima. This guy is sick. Oh my gosh. They all have scars too. Miss. <laughs> He's just cloud watching. They all have very differing personalities, clearly. Very exaggerated personalities. Dang, I thought the guy in the middle was going to be the nine highest. Is it like... Is one of them one and like another two, three? Wait, they said there was no order, right? Rin Goku. I thought he was going to be like super nice. He's like, no, let us just kill them. It is clear violation. Who is this? Oh. Oh man, Serpent, Obanani, o Obanai. He's saying Giyu's guilty too. Where is Giyu? Oh, he's just chilling off to the side, doing that cool guy stance. Yeah, I mean, he defended. Nesko. Serpent like, why is he just chilling in a tree? It'll take me a bit to learn all their names. <laughs> Dude, that's me! <laughs> oh my gosh. She's kind of in the middle now. I still love Kocho so much. Hmm, maybe they'll feel a bit bad for him. This is definitely where we saw the cut to like that guy giving the missions out. Yeah, tell him the entire story. <laughs> Chill out, Tanjiro. Just start from the beginning, bro. Yeah, I mean, they just fought for a while and he went like to his lengths, his limits. 
He's gonna passionately talk about what happened because he cares so much about Nezuko. Letter of the leash. You'll see. I mean, it's kind of fair, though, that their family, he would defend her. Yeah, they gotta see for themselves. His veins, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> they should talk to Wagyu. Met him originally, too. Yeah, two years. Hasn't killed a single person. Thanks, flamboyant. Who's with this guy in flamboyant? Again, what's his name? Takano? Just watching the clouds. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the title's Master of the Headquarters. Dude, this flame guy looks so cool. Wow, asking if she can become a demon. That'd be so cool. Oh. Is that him? <laughs> Who is this? Is this another Hashira? This goes in there. Wind. Is she in love with all of them? Oh my gosh. Oh, she is the love Hashira. This guy looks off one. No wonder Giyu looked at him like, ugh. It seems like the exact opposite of a Hashira he would align with. Don't do anything to her. Don't you dare. Stop! He gives me... No! Oh my god, he actually did it. Oh, yeah, he's not stopping, dude. You stabbed his little sister. Oh! Roll, baby! Oh, my God. <laughs> he just doesn't anything to protect her. Yeah, he didn't even have his hands, bro. Shinazugawa. Dang! Put him in his place, baby! He's wind, right? No, these are the girls from the top. Yeah, from the... Yeah, okay. Again, we've seen him. We saw just his back, though. What is going on with his face? Whoa. What happened to you, boss? That looks like a burn. That looks like a, a burn mark or something. I feel like he's definitely had run it. Dude, are we ever going to see Sakonji again? I feel like the Masters had run-ins with Muzan as well. I still think Tanjiro's dad, Tanjiro Nezuko's dad as well, because of the earrings, because he recognized the earrings, but he definitely has too. Why is his face so burned? Also, I want to... Oh, is he blind? I wonder how powerful he is. I think he's blind. The eyes, yeah, the glossy eyes. This seems nice. Semi-annual? Wow, so this is a rare occurrence. Does that mean like no one's died? Yeah, it's kind of a sucker punch, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's because he's not bowing. Oh man, they got high respect for him. Sheesh. What did he do to earn that? Like, he must be insanely powerful. Dude, he's like a totally different person! Oh my gosh! Dude, that one guy's like double blades. He must know a decent amount already. <laughs> I guess that, that's exaggerated to show how highly they think of him. Yeah, 
Wow. Wow, they're actually opposing him based on how... <laughs> I mean, how indebted the rules are into them. Embedded? Yeah, embedded. I'm gonna forget anyways. You. You gotta stand up for him. You look like a demon, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He does have Lemillion vibes. Well, let him explain himself, at least. They're an anomaly. I mean, this isn't your regular demon. A letter. They all opposed him. <gasps> so Kanji himself requested it. Oh my gosh. He's vouching. Dude, I miss you, Sakanji! Then you're more than welcome, though. Wow. And Giyu. And him. Oh my gosh. He's saying he will die. He will literally die for it. Giyu will literally die for it, and Sakanji will literally die for them. That's how much faith they have in them. Jeez, dude. That's insane. Hmm. I agree. I mean, if the ma- That's incredible that they're actually going against the master's word, like I said. True? Because she's not a regular demon? What's a more convincing argument? Yeah, I mean, they don't have anything else. They're just like, she's a demon. That's, that's, that's it. Yup. Yeah, you thought. Man, that's how in the shadows he stays. Looks like Michael Jackson. Boy, they're all just on a, a hunt for him. I love it. I mean, not even Tanjiro really, I think, knows the, the lengths of, of his powers. <laughs> the fact that they all hunt for him and that he's able to stay in the shadows that well, this is a rare occurrence. Another reason to live her alive. The fact that it angers Muzan. She's just smiling. わかりませんお館様。人間ならば生かしておいてもいいが鬼はダメです。これまで俺たち鬼殺隊がどれだけの思いで戦い、どれだけのものが犠牲となっていったか承知できない。I can kind of understand where he's coming from, but this like I said this is an anomaly. What are you doing? 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 What are Ah, he's casting her. But Nezuko doesn't have those tendencies. Oh man, he's testing her. Uh, but he injured her. She's trying to recover. She's trying to sleep. This is so sad. This a lot. Oh. Against a lot of rules and stuff. I mean, like she said, she's soiling the garden. Dude! Uh, I mean, I know it won't kill her, but... Well, of course she's gonna come out now! She's gonna avoid trying to get stabbed more! She's just gonna pass out? Oh, please don't do anything, Nezuko. Right there. She could very easily take it. Giyu has faith, though. I mean, they even said he put his life on the line. He's trying to bait us. She's even drooling a bit. She's just gonna pass out. Oh my god! Oh, this show. Oh 
boy, we met a lot of new characters this episode. Got introduced to all the Hashiras. I don't remember all of their names. I'll try my best as we go along. I love how they all have very, very, very differing personalities. They're not just like brainless soldiers. I mean, I was very surprised they even went against the master's word. But I love how shaken up they were whenever they found out that Tanjo had actually encountered Muzan. I don't think Nezuko will take the bait. I think it just wanted to build the suspension a little bit. But I think the fact that she won't will give even more proof. Like inherently, this guy is giving her this test, but it's just going to be another reason for Tanjo to be like, hey, see, she's not a regular demon. I really want to learn more about the master though. I think that's the most intriguing concept right now is how he got into this position of power, why he ha why he is blind, like what battle resulted in that and how he gained the respect of all these Hashiras, all these insanely powerful soldiers. I was even going to say, I wondered if they had, if any of them had run into Muzan because I feel like they could take him on. I mean, Tanjo struggled against that boy spider, but Giyu just one shot him. Kocho just one shot him. They just came in like it was nothing. I think it was to exaggerate also how differing their power levels are. Guys, that's been it for episode 22 of our Demon Slayer. Watch the little thought of the episode down in the comments below. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Space, space.